Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is L. I'm going to be doing a domination match on the map Rush. I'm going to be using the Peacekeeper with Foregrip, Fast Mag, and Target Finder. Let's get into it. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to go to uh, A Domination, pick up the points for the 50 points for capturing the spawn point one. And then notice how I'm going to run towards the center area. This map is especially, like, it's really, really chaotic. So whenever I play this, I try to stay behind cover as much as possible. Like, as I pa like I paused it right there just to point that out. I use the cover a lot, especially in this map, because what I've found is in this map, there's a lot of, like, just, it's a lot of fast, it's a fast-paced map where it's pretty much just chaos everywhere. So whenever they try to, you know, like, whenever people are just pushing for the B domination, it's always people running through the center, there's always people, like, around the corner, and it's very difficult to, you know, get a clear line of sight across the map. So what you, what I try to do is I try to just, you know, find a space with some cover, and I just kind of set up there a little bit, dig myself in so that, uh, you know, I can have a somewhat clear line of, uh, you know, sight, to a certain point that gets a high amount of traffic so that, you know, if you just like, if you just watch over an area that has a high amount of traffic, it's more likely than not that you're going to be able to pick up more than a few kills because so many people are going to be running through that area because especially like in this map where there's so many people just running about because I think that, and even in Ground War, even more so in Ground War, uh, I don't think I'm playing a Ground War game, but this this map especially is very very chaotic so like everybody everybody's running everywhere and it's really difficult to you know just live a long time because everyone's uh, seems to be everywhere and it's really difficult to live a long time like i said before i'm sorry if i i'm repeating myself but it's that that's kind of why i especially in this map like i know overall you always should use cover to your advantage you know give yourself the advantage in the gunfight so that you can live longer and stuff like that but especially in this map because and actually not just this map but all the new maps especially because I feel like all these new maps are really chaotic they're really fast-paced and it's really difficult to you know just keep yourself in an uh, area where you have the advantage and you're able to you know just pick up enough kills to you know do well and get the higher score streaks so I feel like this, especially on these new maps, you're going to definitely have to find areas that have cover and kind of just slow yourself down and play a little bit more defensively. As you can, you can kind of tell, right, like, as you're watching this, I'm playing a little more defensively than I normally do. Uh, I wanted to point out, pause it right here, just to point out that, so apparently, uh, what I found out is when you're using the target finder, the game can't register whether or not you're looking through a window. So if that like window were to break, it's still that's like and you look through the target finder, you'll be able to see the person on the other side. Well, that's pretty much the same even if the window isn't broken. Like it'll still register there's a person on the other side even though you know, the you can't really see through the glass even if it's like really t tinted black glass like that was. It's just I don't know, I feel like, I think it might just be the engine, or just how the game plays, but it's, uh, very different from, I, I, I honestly think it really shouldn't do that, and right there I forgot I had black jacket, so, um, I probably shouldn't have run away, but I did anyway, because I forgot I had black jacket. But anyway, I feel like, I don't know, I think the next game should fix that, they should fix that considering we're getting, you know, a new engine-ish, but, I don't know. I, I hope that if there is like a target finder type thing that it won't do the same it won't act the same way that this target finder does where like the engine can't even register whether it's broken glass or not broken glass so that you're not supposed to be see, be able to see through it or you are I don't know um, hopefully they fix that but that's just my two cents anyway I'm gonna jump back into the gameplay so right here as as I said before I'm really trying to play uh, more defensively than I normally do because, you know, the, as I said before, there's a lot of chaos and stuff like that, and everybody's just moving around, and it's very difficult. So that's kind of why I'm playing defensively. Right there, I paused it just to point out how this cover kind of saves me because I threw that C4 out, and then I got flashbanged. So 
sit and, be, and I kind of just spray it out a little bit, or I, you know, I shot a few rounds off because behind that, um, behind that barricade or behind that cover, and that cover kind of saved me because uh, I was able to, you know, retreat behind it, and I was able to survive longer and not die. So that was uh, like that's an important thing. That's why you use cover, especially in like maps like these is just to give yourself the advantage and to give yourself, you know, some safety where you won't die if you get flashbanged and you're unable to, you know, retreat behind something or something, or and give yourself cover and stuff like that. So that's a really important thing, uh, is definitely use cover and just overall give yourself the advantage in the gunfights. Um, yeah, that, I'm gonna jump back into gameplay, so, uh, the round just ended and I have a load star, I saved it because Normally, I will try to save kill streaks in the last minute because I feel like they're you know pointless. Unless it's an orbital VSAT or a UAV that lasts 45 seconds anyway. If you have that 45 seconds, use it because you're probably going to be able to pick up a lot more kills than that. You're you'll probably be able to set yourself up even greater for the next round. So I guess I should correct that. If you you know if you have a score streak and it's the last. 30 seconds, don't use it. It's not worth it because you're not going to get the full use out of it. And that's really not a very efficient use of, um, of the score streak. So, anyway, I'm going to jump back into the gameplay. So right here, I'm actually, you know, I know that there's people coming through that doorway, so I'm trying to hide behind, I'm using this cover to my advantage, and I'm trying to hide behind this cop car, but this was not a very smart thing to do, especially because... You know, I'm really playing defensively, but I'm going to sit here for a little bit too long, and I'm actually going to get killed by a lightning strike, and this car. I really sh shouldn't stay behind unexploded cars, or just unexploded um, vehicles overall, because, you know, when you sit behind unexploded uh, vehicles, or just explosive things anyway, anything, it's not likely that you're going to live long enough, or like, it's just, a high, it puts you at a higher risk to die, because... When you're behind something explosive, it's more likely than not the other team's going to explode it, and you're probably going to die because of that. So, I would avoid trying to hide behind things that could possibly explode, because that's just not a smart thing to do if you're hiding behind something explosive. Especially since everybody, especially in like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, I feel like everybody's running C4 because, you know, it's really, really good. It's just an overall really good and lethal, so... Yeah, even with Black Jacket, you, it's hard to live through something like that, so what I try to do is I try to avoid hiding behind expo things that could possibly explode because it could prove to be fatal. Anyway, I'm going to jump back into the gameplay. So right here I actually picked up a suppressed scorpion, and the reason for that is because I feel like, especially in these maps where it's like everything's so high paced, if you use a gun with suppressor on it, it's really good. And the Scorpion especially, because the Scorpion has like such a high fire rate. If you bump into somebody like coming around the corner, or somebody rushing, or if you rush into an enemy spawn, enemy spawn, it's more likely that you are going to be able to you know pick up a kill with the Scorpion and be able to stay in that area with the um, suppressor because you know you have a Scorpion and a suppressor and. It's just, it's a very good match, especially for, like, some of these maps. So, uh, you, that, that's just my two cents. Anyway, I wanted to pause right there to point out two things. First of all, I just died by that sniper, and then I spawned right there. So, two things about that, too. First of all, that's really, really bad spawning. Second of all, I used it to my advantage because I knew where that guy was, and so I was able to set myself up behind that van, using the cover of the van to, you know, pick him off without him being able to know where I was. So that was a really good play right there. Um, and that, you know, you using what you're given is really important, especially in this game, because everything's so balanced, there's no, like, really OP gun. Stuff is, you know, happening all the time, and you need to be able to give yourself the advantage. So using anything you get, anything, I mean, literally, it's really easy if you just use everything you're given. It's very difficult for you to do poorly, because... You know, if you use everything to your advantage, you're more likely than not going to do better than poor. It's, that's just how this game works, because it's so balanced, and, you know, props to Treyarch for doing that, because I feel like, uh, you know, Black Ops 1, that every, it was just FAMAS, FAMAS, Galil, AUG, it was just, it was so, I guess, boring, because everybody used the same gun. 
But um, that was just that's just my two cents. I kind of jump back into the gameplay. Um, anyway, so that guy just killed me because I don't know. I actually think I should have killed him because I I think I landed enough shots. It should. I think it's three to four shots with uh, the peacekeeper at that range. And I thought I landed three to four shots, but apparently not because that guy just didn't die. So that was an unfortunate death. And right here, the, that was that was a really lucky kill. Um, I don't know if that sniper saw me or not, or he was trying to kill me or my teammate. But whatever happened, I that was a nice or that was a lucky pickup, and I was able to pick him up and you know live <laughs> live to see another day. And, um, and this game plays out actually wrapping up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Final score was 56 and 6. Please like, subscribe, share, and um, shout out to the XP Star guys. They, uh, you know, they are the guys that actually hired me on. Um, I hope you guys just can, you know, go check out their website. It's xpstar.com. It's pretty cool. They've got a lot of stuff to offer. Yeah, just go check that out. Anyway, guys, have a good day, and God bless.